All right, guys, here we go. We have the new Hot Toys Grand Inquisitor standing up and uh, looking pretty good, honestly. The head sculpt, I think, is fantastic. Uh, I think the tailoring is fantastic. I think the overall look of the figure is fantastic. However, I am hugely, I, I say hugely, disappointed but not shocked that the USB light-up function is garbage. It just, it just is. Um, for those out there with CCFLs, those are going to blow these out of the water. If you've got you know, like fusion reactor ones, they're going to blow these out of the water. I'm, I'm not surprised by that. I'm disappointed, but not at all shocked. So let's take a look. Now, if you can't tell, right now, both the light-up functions on the chest and these sabers are engaged. Both of them. I mean, they're quite... Uh, the one in the chest is good. Like, the one in the chest is good. Let me kind of... Let me zoom in here. I'll kind of give you an idea of what the heck I'm... I'm, uh, I'm talking about here. So we've got this light up feature here in the chest and it, it looks it looks good uh, It's plenty bright if you're just in normal lighting. Sorry uh, normal lighting plenty bright. No issues with that the saber on the other hand is Useless like I, I wouldn't bother Would not bother one you've got to deal with cables, which is no good anyways hiding them which thankfully they're black cables and he's got a black You know dark outfit. Um, so that's not too big a deal uh, the USB cord in the back, like you can't see it right now from this angle, although there is one way back there. Um, but the light up function on the actual saber is, it's just subpar. Uh, and for, you know, the aspirations of those collectors who want to have these on display lit up with a USB bank and good, you know, just hoping that it'll look awesome, it won't. It's a puny little LED in the actual saber, in the hilt that is pointed directional out and it's got to force its way through that acrylic um, saber or the the blade and it's not bright enough to do that so you got a little bit of a hot i'm not even i don't even want to call it a hot spot i really don't i don't even call it a hot spot because it's not even hot it's like a medium spot so at the hilt end of the uh, of the blade you've got a little bit of a light and then it's it's just weak it's weak so for those looking forward to like future you know, uh, Luke's or future, uh, well, any, anybody with future Vader's and all that kind of stuff. It's just, for me, it, it's not even worth messing with. Like, I wouldn't even bother putting a USB bank in my display if this was my intended goal. Uh, I just wouldn't. So there's that. Uh, outside of that, he looks really good. I mean, look at this head sculpt, guys. That thing is menacing. Now, I did choose to leave the white neck protector piece on there uh, again dark plastic white skin figure i don't want to have any issues with that and honestly you can't really tell if i hadn't told you that some of you might have zoomed in really you know on, and try to figure that out but uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave it on there and um if it was a uh tan skin or something you know that might stand out because it was a white uh cover then i'd probably take it off in this case uh, i don't plan on doing that right, and this is what i'm talking about let me turn off this light there you go. Now you can see it in all its LED light up USB C glory. Uh, just it's just not good, guys. That's what it looks like in person. Judge for yourself. Let me know in the comment section. Is this good enough for you? Is this good enough for Hot Toys? Huh. I think not myself.
Let's take a look at his head sculpt real quick. It is beautiful. They did a fantastic job. No, it does not look like he did in the actual, you know, Rebel show, but obviously that's not what they're going for. They're going for live action. The paint application is brilliant. The expression is, yeah, it's, it's, it's dead. It's dead. But I think it works. It wouldn't have been nice to have the moving eyes, which we don't have. But overall, I think the expression is pretty good. Uh, light up functions, the... And we already talked about that a little bit. But the detail on the armor and the whole uh, outfit, I guess, if you will, is quite good. Uh, there's this texture detail on the cape, the inside of the cape. That looks brilliant, honestly. It's almost got this, like, hex, you know, carbon fiber look to it. Uh, the outside's flat. The hood is a little unfinished on the edges, but the cape, or like I said here, the cloak, I guess, if you will, is quite fantastic, honestly. Looks pretty good. Uh, if you're wondering how the connections go on the back end, you've got those plugs, which we looked at on the unboxing segment. Uh, it's it's manageable. There's a clip you can hang on the belt or you can hang on the uh, upper uh, armor. I just decided to do that on the boat, on the belt here. Cable-wise, not too hard to hide because it is a dark figure. If this was a lighter figure, like a Bespin Luke or something like that, it'd be a little bit harder to do. Um, but as we noted before, the light-up features suck. So probably won't use it anyways. Uh, the saber hilt is magnetic. It will stick even through the cloak and through the um, head cover, I guess, if you will. Um, it will definitely uh, stick there magnetic-wise. It's uh, it's pretty easy to do. Nothing crazy. We do have, uh, you know, a hologram with Vader on there. Not something I'm going to end up using, but it's there. It's another one to add to the collection. But the presence on this guy, this is one of those figures that doesn't require dynamic poses, in my opinion. Uh, something simple like this. Is, uh, is just fine. Uh, again, it has the range of motion. There's really not a whole much limiting it, except for like, the ab crunch. There's not a whole lot there because of the armor, but double bend on the elbows, double bend on the knees. Plenty of range of motion of what you expect from a, uh, a figure that doesn't have like crazy you know, clone armor or anything like that. So I think that's pretty good. The magnetic uh, saber hilt on the top, I think is pretty good. And then we've got him here next to Vader. So height-wise, Vader, again, significantly taller, inch, inch and a half taller. It's pretty pretty good heights. They both look good together. And until we actually get some other Inquisitors to add to the collection, these two um, match very well. And I was going to throw up Moff Gideon up there, but uh, I didn't feel like it. So here's Vader. These two, obviously, we're going to show. This is the Empire Vader, for those wondering, because obviously the Kenobi Vader's not quite released yet. But you can get an idea of what they're going to look like side by side. And honestly, it looks pretty stinking good. I do wish uh, uh, I do wish the uh, light-up functions were a little better than they are so we could use them. But I guess I've uh, you know talked about that enough for the time being. The new Vader with the USB saber, uh, it promises to be just as disappointing, which sucks. Uh, but just another pose option for you guys. Um, again, this is not one you're going to need to do crazy poses with. You've just got him up with a, a fist. He's got the uh, saber hilt on his back with the magnet feature. He's got the red in the inside cape showing. And just a simple pose. I don't think you got to go crazy with this guy. Uh, and honestly, I, I'm happy with the figure. It's not the greatest figure in the collection, but it is an Inquisitor. It is an, an empire, an evil uh, dark side-ish, if you will, uh, character we get to add to the collection that's... You know, we don't really have that many of, and hopefully sometime in the near future we'll get some more. You know, that would be good. Um, but as far as adding them to the collection, if you're into the... I wouldn't say if you were into the Kenobi show, uh, that would be the only requirement for this one. I'd say if you just want to build your uh, galactic uh, empire, your Im uh, imperial armory, um, I think this is a figure that would look good in the set. But you got to make that decision for yourself. Uh, like I said, I got mine from Pop Collectibles. If you want to uh, get one for yourself, definitely check them out. Link in the description below. If you like this figure or if you like this video, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section down below if you're going to be planning on picking this up. I imagine most of you probably are not, and I understand why. But really, I just wanted to kind of showcase the... Honestly, I was very curious to see what the light-up feature is going to be like. And uh, unfortunately, they were disappointing. And I don't want that to be the only takeaway from this, but it kind of was kind of overshadowed the the coolness of the of the figure for me. But well, that's that's just me. Let me know in your comment section. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. And as always, collect what you like. See you next time.